Hi guys, so in today's video I'm just going to cover a routine that I saw in one of Michael Holt's recent videos. It was one where he spent nearly an hour just doing different practice routines and didn't miss, which was incredible really. He did the T, did like this cross um, routine and he also did this one, which I haven't done before, so I thought I'd just add it to me list of practice routines that I like to get ticked off. So it just consists of groups of three reds, sort of two, one either side of the black, one by the pink, and then one either side of the yellow and green. So I spent probably about an hour, I reckon, practicing this before I managed to clear it. So it's all about keeping close control really these reds by the bulk colours but you kind of guarantee to be on a bulk colour really just by running it on and off the cushion now early on when I was playing this I was always struggling with this skinny cut back red for some reason I was struggling with it but again like practice routines like this you miss, you start again, you miss, you start again, and then you kind of adjust your aim after a few attempts, and then by the end, that skinny red into that right corner was easy by the end of it. But it's good that there's a variation to this routine, so all these are kind of playing with a touch of left, and then the ones on the right-hand side by the green, and playing them with a touch of right. I'm keeping pretty good control of the cue ball here. So now because I want to go down to them reds, down by the pink and black, I'm going to purposely play for blue off this red. And it's kind of key that I don't run too far, otherwise I'll be in a bit of trouble. So that was like a bit of a screw shot down for blue, which... I think I'm perfect. So here, just a little stunny screw shot just to go across the face of the pink. Let's play for... Kind of wasn't playing pinpoint for a red, just guaranteed to be on one, wasn't I? So Now here, kind of concentrate around the black spot. So I'm going to just play this. Touch a left on and off the cushion. That bit of left hand side just widens the angle off the cushion so because you can have a tendency there to snook yourself on one of them reds. Just play that dead weight on and off the cushion. And similar shot to the one on the other side, just a touch of right. If anything I've hit that a bit too hard maybe the sides took it off as well so I'm going for pink here a little stun shot into the middle pocket now obviously I'm on the wing balls uh, of the black I think I take a look at this red and I wasn't quite happy with it the angle just wasn't very nice yeah, no I'd like to go around the corner there but then because the the white there is like bang in the middle of the pink and black this is kind of a similar shot but I do prefer like playing with a touch of sort of run inside here so I elected to go for that one they're very similar shots really but I just kind of prefer that here you just drop this in dead weight now this one I'm going to play that right side red from the black just as basically on and off the cushion nothing to do with the white there just centre ball really
not much angle on this, so I'm going to have to run around the corner. Played that to perfection. Sometimes you can overhit them. Here, just a little stun shot, kind of hold the white near that red. Yes, yeah, just stun it on and off the cushion. Black's uh, red in the same pocket the black went into. Oh, I think I've landed quite straight here, so it's quite perfect, really. So just leave the white where the red is. Leaves a nice angle on the black just to run through for the choice of any of them reds into that left centre pocket. So as you can see, I was queuing pretty well, I have to say. I was quite happy with the way I was queuing in this break. So here, just a little stun run through for the pink into that left corner. Nice angle here just to screw up a little bit. A little soft screw there. So here I'm trying to think now to get the best way to get up to... the bolt colours after this last red I want to leave myself a decent angle here on this last red from the pink don't really want to be playing for blue because if I over hit it I'm kind of in no man's land really so kind of hedging my bets here and I'm going to play on and off the cushion going up for bolt colour Played that perfect. Nice angle just to run on and off the cushion here. Look to me there that I was playing with a touch of left, which uh, I might need to look at that when I'm playing because I don't think I would normally play that. I don't know what you guys think if you if you're watching the head cam. Just what do you think where I'm hitting that white? Because to here now that looks to me about centre ball. And I think I'm just flicking a bit of right there. So I don't think I'm hitting where I'm aiming slightly on a couple of these shots. But nevertheless, they're still going in, thankfully. Here, just roll that in on and off the cushion. Nice angle on the blue just to like a soft screw down for pink and I've under hit that and left myself horrible thinking about going for the oh, yeah. God, playing left handed here oh cue that like a dream roll that in for the clearance so yeah guys um, really good routine that because there's um Quite a lot of variations, but you, it's very repetitive, so you, you're practicing both sides of the table, which is perfect, really. Um, I would definitely advise having a go with that if you haven't already. And uh, drop us a big like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.